So G, this is another follow on from a really popular tip that we did recently, talking about some different options for different level of golfer in a situation. And before we were talking about um, a par five shot coming into it, we'll put a link up to that video. And then here we are, we've got quite a difficult bunker shot because we've got water. All the way around. All on the other side and all the way around. So we've, we're going to sort of tell you what to do with three different grades of golfer, A grade, B grade and C grade golfer. So what would our A grade golfer do, G? Well, in my opinion, the A grade golfer is, um, they're generally very good at bunkers, but they're the they're going to go a little bit to the right of the flagstick because it runs away into the water. It's very yes. much like Augusta here, it's running into the and water. And the pin's so close to the left edge here so too, so you don't to need edge. to go they're that close. The green sloping that way, so they're going to be more attacking for an A grader. So they're going to play a lovely little splash bunker shot, get it out, let it run on down, but they're heading more towards the right side of the bunker. Yep, erring on the, of the, of the pin, erring on the right of the pin. Erring on the pin. And then our B grade, we think, is going to play the same shot, but aim a bit more to the right, just to take the water out of and play. And more green to work more with. More green so to work with. Skinny. Yeah. And you're still going to have a putt then, which is, if you're a B grade, you're probably looking to bogey each hole. Exactly. So if you're here for two on a par four, you can get it out, give yourself an easy two putt. You might even hold a putt. So that's a nice, safe option for a B grader. And they're going to feel very relaxed over the ball because they're not right. thinking of the water. Exactly. It's a good, good thing to do to play within your handicap Absolutely. and how many shots you've got. Because we tend to forget that. We tend to all of a sudden think we're a touring pro yeah, and yeah. that creates too much That's tension. It just as you're about exactly. to play. So. And if you're a high handicapper and you've got loads of shots to work with, then you could come back out here onto the fairway and then just chip it on and have your two parts yeah. and then you've still got, you haven't had a disaster. No, you're still, you? still going to have your par probably. Yeah. So you're getting out of the bunker and that's the main goal if you're yeah. a C grader or a B grader, get out of the bunker. Yeah. Don't stay in the bunker. Exactly. Get out, have a chip, two parts. That's right. You're laughing. That's right. So shall we play these yeah, shots? Please. Let's All right, let's see if we can get it close for the A grader. Aiming a little bit to the right of the pin because it's so close to the left edge. I'm trying to get it nice and close. Just over, use the slope, good one. Yep. Get yourself an uphill putt. Yep. Very, very good. And I, 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 pretty much where I aimed, just yep. right, I've got a chance to get my par. That was very good. Thank you. I'll grab this other ball. Oh, sorry, I should be with Caddy. <laughs> what are you doing, Dee? Sorry about that. So, the now, B grader now? We could aim probably where the shadow of the flag is, I think. Do you do there. anything different as a B grader? Just, just different strategy, same technique. It is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Same, same yeah. technique. And if you're not confident in the bunker, get a lesson and get confident because you're going to be in them. You can avoid them as much as you like, but it doesn't always work, does it? So now we're playing the same shot, just a little bit further out to the right. Oh, that was a Played that one a little bit better than the first one, actually. But, you know, like you, you've still got a two-cut range. Beautiful. Exactly. We're trying to hold it, but That's that was it. beautiful. Play that like a pro. <laughs> Thank you, too. So I just got there's the, the um, water is a long way away here. So unless you place a really rotten shot, you should be fine just to get it out onto the fairway here. And then you can chip into your green from this. So the moral of our story is to try and play within your handicap because you're really just trying to score and not have any blow up holes, exactly. right? You're trying to take all the stress out of your game. Stress you don't out want your game. stress, you don't want tension. You yeah. want to know what your capabilities are yeah. and go with that. That's Stress free goal. Play within your uh, abilities and you'll enjoy your game a bit more. Absolutely. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.